certainly great to welcome you back to Connect, and I hope you got a chance to watch the Olympics. How inspiring were the female gymnasts? Of course, Simone winning the gold, Allie taking the silver, and our final five, that's what they're calling themselves, taking the gold medal. Absolutely inspiring. But where did it all start? It started in 1984 with our next guest. Barry Lou Retton joins us right now. Always great to have you back as a guest. And do you feel like your medal shines even brighter knowing you started this trend of gold? I am kind of the, the, the pioneer, I'd like to call myself, like back in 1984 um, when we walked onto that Olympic stage in Los Angeles. I think we did. We opened the door of a pretty strong and incredible legacy of USA Gymnastics. And I, yeah, I'm pretty humbled and pretty proud of that fact. Uh, that team last night was amazing. You do not win a gymnastics competition by eight points. It's just, it's unheard of. It's like winning a football game by eight touchdowns. Nearly impossible. Well, it happened last night. And final five, they're incredible, incredibly proud of that team. Well, we are certainly incredibly inspired by you, Mary Lou, and the team and for what they've just accomplished. And I, I'm just curious, as you watch this year's Olympics, of the four disciplines that the girls do, is there one in particular that you hold your breath and just go, wow? Well, personally, um, the hardest to watch, obviously, is the balance beam. You know, it, it's a four-inch wide piece of wood that these girls do these incredibly difficult, dangerous things on, and it looks like they're just on a piece of tape on the floor. It makes me the nervous because one itty bitty half inch of off, and you're off the beam. So, you know, the beam really makes or breaks you in, in a big competition like the Olympic Games, and our girls were rock solid last night. Weren't they just yes. great? And Mary Lou, I remember you handled the pressure just like they did. I remember I think you needed a 10 on the vault and you nailed it. Gold medal for USA and you. Congratulations again. But today you have an exciting message to kind of give us a catalyst to get back into health and fitness. Uh, what do you have for us? Well, you know, living healthy and being active, obviously, in my gymnastics career for, for many, many years, but now as a wife and a mother of, of my four beautiful, very athletic daughters, being a fitness ambassador is something that's very important to me. I've teamed up with Nature's Bounty, and I'm heading up a campaign called Dear Future Me. And I'm encouraging people to go to the website, naturesbounty.com. It's super easy to, to enroll. Click on the, the, the link to Dear Future Me. I'm asking people to write a letter. Write a letter to yourself to encourage yourself to live that healthy future, to have a healthy future. It's something that I've done. It's something that's very important to me. Also, when, when people do that, you enter the sweepstakes and can earn and, and win some pretty cool prizes. But, you know, I, I hope and I pray that, that my future is, is rosy and I have visions of, uh, of lots of grandbabies those daughters better give me. And I want to be active and I want to be healthy to enjoy that stage in my life. So living healthy and, and, and doing that is something that's important to me. And that's kind of my message today. Well, I'm certainly glad you made time to talk to us, particularly perfect timing with the gymnast winning gold. And uh, you just inspire us so much. And thank you for this uh, challenge and good information about our fitness and health. But before we go, Mary Lou, uh, again, congratulations on everything on the mat, off the mat. But given your success, well-deserved, what did you learn on your journey that served you so well? Find what you're passionate about. That's the most important thing. And what I enjoy and, and uh, talking with my kids and but one thing piece of advice and wisdom that I give them is live your life with no regrets and you know and if you do that you're gonna have that healthy future but don't wake up when you're 48 years old like like me and, and I do have no regrets and look back and say gosh I wish I would have tried that or oh man you know do it you learn a lot from your failures don't be afraid to fail but that, that's kind of find what you're passionate about and live your life with no regrets I certainly love that. You follow your passion, making a difference on the planet. And uh, just thank you for inspiring us, Mary Lou. It's a, just a treat to talk to you. And uh, congratulations. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.